One great thing about living on the Bellarine Peninsula is that you have a, a very experiential um, understanding, I guess, of how remnant bush vegetation butts up against constructed gardens, butts up against uh, residential developments, um, butts up against, I guess, agricultural um, expanses which are threatened. So in terms of um, recent painting projects, they've really, I suppose, exploded a little bit, courtesy of living on the Bellarine. Um, and the most recent one was Understory for Geelong Gallery. And that involved working with an artist and colleague, Michelle Birder. We spent about a year doing these very interesting field trips. And they culminated, I guess, in paintings that looked at the contemporary hybrid nature of botanic gardens. These are places that hark back to the colonial era and I guess that colonial will to document things. Um, my paintings in a way are illusions of those master colonial documents, those documents that were so confident that they could put down every kind of plant, all the flora and fauna um, that moved, that lived, uh, as if they would exist in perpetuity. I thought it was quite fun to, in a way, parody the look of those drawings. So there's stretched canvases, but the illusion sits on top of that canvas. As you can see, there's uh, illusions of foxing and the mould marks that you get in paper. Um, a particular uh, image that interested me was to be found in um, the Geelong Gardens, and that was the dragon tree, Draciano Draco, which is about 150 years old and has survived various transplantings. And it's currently what you might call a supported exotic, a Chinese tree existing in the Botanic Gardens in 2011. And if you look at the tree in situ, you'll see that it's supported by steel struts. Um, so it's a little leaning, botanical leaning tower of Pisa as it were. So um, it interested me to try and create that as an image on that um, oldie worldy looking uh, paper as an illusion because really that's what it's come to. A lot of these plants are failing and how much money can we throw at them to keep them going, to give us joy. The painting of the dwarf spider lily uh, was an adjunct painting in a way to the Botanic Gardens exhibition. I started to paint it um, because it was an extinct plant from the Batesford area. Uh, it was not uh, seen, it, was, it disappeared around 1922, but it was recently discovered while I was painting it actually. So if you look at that painting, you can see that it's got uh, two signs on it, X and E. One is for extinct and one is for threatened because it's um, status changed during um, the creation of that exhibition. So that was fascinating. And the Department of Sustainability put a fence around the um, location so that no one could get to this plant. So in a way, it was like an enforced, almost military botanic gardens. Um, I suppose um, all the different visual projects I've worked on um, deal in a way with a bit of a culture nature split. On the one hand, they're often about cultural histories, how other people have painted the landscape before. And many artists, for example, are interested in von Gerard and have worked um, from his work to create new pictures. So I guess I'm part of that pack. And the next project will be different again, but it will perhaps always have something to do with cultural histories that have gone before. And in some ways, working down here um, on the Bellarine is a delight because of the light and the space and um, you can have a big studio space in which to develop these kinds of ideas so it's a real pleasure after city living um, to have that opportunity.